Two things are gonna happen in this video today. The first is I'm gonna go and grab every single sale that sold yesterday on my eBay store, and then we're gonna go and jump in the van, and we're gonna go out thrifting and hopefully find a heap more items to sell back on eBay. It's gonna be a video full of motivation for you guys to hopefully go out there and do the exact same thing. So let's dive into the video. The first thing we always do, go grab those sales. All right, guys, now this was a really good one to start the video. It was a pair of retail arbitrage Adidas shoes that I was able to sell just yesterday. Now, I bought these a couple of weeks ago in a retail arbitrage video that I did, a bit of a how-to guide, but these Adidas shoes, I bought them for $42, and just yesterday, they've sold for $99. So I was absolutely wrapped to get that result because what it means is I've profited $30 on these shoes, buying them out of the Adidas store. I always love to get retail arbitrage sales come through, so 42 bucks. if you can find the right price when you're out in the shops, you can still sell them on eBay and make a pretty good profit. Had another pair of shoes as well. These were the Nike Zoom Speed TR, women's running shoes, US size seven. Um, look, they're in great condition. The soles are pretty good on them as well. I've got top dollar as well. $58.95 for these shoes. So the Nike brand, it's held up again. I've only bought them for $5 in the thrift. So I'm just, I'm probably gonna make about 35 bucks with these ones. Um, always love selling the Nike shoes. They are my top seller uh, for a reason, a very, very good brand. And just coming into my bedroom now, and uh, we've had a few DVDs sell. I've already looked them out for you. How nice am I? The first one that we've got here is Terminator 3. This one has sold out of this wholesale bundle. So I've got two different wholesale bundles here, both bought off Facebook Marketplace. This one was from an old wholesale bundle, $12.50. It is brand new, so I've got top dollar on that, um, $8 after my postage costs. So I'm making myself about a $6 profit on that one. Uh, bought all of these for 50 cents as well for anybody that's new to the channel. Um, the other one as well was the Howling. This one has gone on to sell for $18. Um, even got the cash converters tag on it as well. So um, even being a really very much a secondhand DVD, I've still been able to get $18, which is just crazy um, for, a, for a used pre-owned DVD. The other one as well, this one's gone on to sell apt pupil. Never heard of this one, but um, did get a pretty good price of $12.50 used DVD, $6 profit on that. Um, so the DVD is continuing to sell. But this was an absolute beauty, guys. One to absolutely look out for, Ramsey's Kitchen Nightmares. <laughs> Idiot sandwich. has gone on to sell for $100. So I'm absolutely blown away by that. An eight DVD set. If you can find this one out in the thrift, they all sell for $100, multiple comps on eBay. Very, very happy to get the return there with that one. So this is a very much a typical day for me on eBay. I've had six sales come through yesterday, total revenue of $305. So I won't be doing the post today. I'll just be leaving them to the side and I'll be going to the post office tomorrow with these and any that come through today. Hopefully I can update you on a few sales that do come through today. But uh, yeah, six sales, 305 bucks worth of revenue. Very happy with that one. Uh, now guys, I did want to give you a bit of an update on my uh, Facebook Marketplace DVD purchase that I made. I've bought 500 DVDs. I'm doing a death pile demolition currently where I'm listing them all up at 15 a day, 22 days into the process since I bought those DVDs for $250. I've got an update on all of the financials for you out of just this DVD wholesale bundle alone. So far, I've been able to list up about 200 to 250 DVDs, somewhere in that ballpark. 64 of those DVDs have already gone on to sell in 22 days. So three a day, which I think is a very good sell-through rate. My gross revenue, not including fees and posts that you have to take out, $1,128.60. A big, big number in just 22 days, I believe. Now, you take off the postage costs, $4.50 worth of tracked postage for every single one of these sales, $837.78. When you take out the cost of goods at 50 cents each for the 64 that I sold, that's 32 bucks, $802.78. And then you've got to take off about 15% worth of eBay fees, $633.49 worth of gross profit. In the space of just 22 days, I think that is a fantastic result. It really goes to show that DVDs are selling on eBay. And if you're not doing it, if you're a non-believer, I really want that to be the thing that kicks you in a gear to go out and buy some. Get them on Facebook Marketplace for a cheap price. I've still got 436 left to go, guys. We've made $633. So thought I'd just update you on that. The, uh, the death pole demolition, it all comes down to listing consistently and getting those sales up for grabs and then you get the money in the return. So $633, it's about $210 a week. I don't know. You let me know. Do you want to go and do it yourself? Oh, is that right? You know you're not allowed to be up here. Say hi. Say hi. Hello guys. You're being naughty. You're being naughty. Come on. Out you go. Uh -uh. Not in there.
Well, I'll tell you what, guys, we are off to a very productive start today. I've uh, been able to get eight listings up so far this morning before I started filming with you guys. And um, obviously gone through a, a quick little run of the sales there, but uh, it's only 9.17. 9.17 and we're off for a thrift now. Um, I'm gonna stop in and grab a coffee because uh, I haven't had one yet. I normally do about two a day. Let me know in the comments, how many coffees do you guys do every single day? And do you do any in the afternoon? Because I'm always tempted to have one in the Arvo and uh, I, I never do. But let me know in the comments if you guys do because I'd be very curious to hear it. Uh, but anyway, look guys, we're gonna go to the, uh, we're gonna go to the op shop and, uh, and hopefully we're gonna find some items. It has been a very long time since I've been able to thrift. Uh, eight days, in fact, with the coronavirus lockdown that we've had here on the Gold Coast. So, um, look, it's been a bit of a blessing in disguise, to be honest with you, because it's allowed me to go and get into my death pile, really charge on with nailing all the stuff that I've had lying around the house for a little bit now, all of those DVDs as well. So, um, it has been a pretty good period to, to get a heap of sales uh, on eBay, but now we are pretty much through that death pile and I need to go out and grab some new stuff. So that's gonna make for an entertaining video. There will be a lot of stuff purchased, I have no doubt about it. The op shops will be filled with people uh, that have dropped off their things over the last eight days while I've been in lockdown. So I'm anticipating that we're gonna have a great thrift run. Um, hoping I'm not jinxing myself there, but uh, I'll grab a coffee and I'll see you in the first thrift. Now I have stopped looking into the books. I don't typically buy them anymore, but when I saw this Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, this was actually a first edition, so I couldn't pass this one up. It was only $4, which was not too bad for a book that is a first edition. And as you'll see there, the comps are $35. So even at a $4 purchase, I'm still gonna be making about $15 to $20 after fees and postage with this one. So if you do find the Harry Potters, always pick them up. There's generally a few bucks, especially for the first editions. Uh, this is a really good DVD, uh, Life on Mars. It was a Region 1 DVD, I think, or at least it played in the UK. So for that reason, uh, I didn't pick it up. But if you can find this as a Region 4 here in Australia, Seasons 1 and 2 goes on to sell well, but for $12 there, I couldn't purchase that. This was awesome. This was a super cheap auto racing uh, uh, jacket. $25 was the price tag. To be honest, it didn't even put me off that $25 price point. Unfortunately, there just weren't enough comps on eBay. As you can see there, just the one comp for $99. So it was probably a little bit too risky for me, at least anyway, to buy that for $25. So I did put it back on the shelf. This one I did pick up though, this one was a kind of cool t-shirt, uh, Road to the Granny, a 2011 Collingwood Magpies t-shirt, had all of their results for the 2011 year on the back, a kind of a replica band tee. I really like the look of it, $7, I'm sure it will go on a sell. This one was interesting as well, a 1996 uh, Space Jam Tweety Bird plush toy. Now you guys know that I love my plush toys. So I had to check this one out, but uh, the only comp that I could see when I was doing my research on this one was for about $55 to $60 on eBay. And again, just like the jacket, there was only one comp. So I did end up leaving that one behind. A very, very tough decision considering I love my plush. And then the one other behind the counter as well was this uh, RM Williams belt buckle. Now there was a comp for $70, but they were asking $40. So unfortunately, again, not too much money that I could have made on that one. All right, guys, I've just finished up in two op shops and I've only been able to secure two items. Um, the Harry Potter book, that'll get me about $17 to $18 profit after fees and post. And the Collingwood t-shirt, uh, look, to be honest with you, probably about 10 bucks worth of profit on that. So I'm gonna say that we've only made about $27 so far and uh, we need to get a bit of a wriggle on find some more items. So I'm gonna shoot across to a different suburb, more of an affluent suburb to the one that I was just in. And I think that really does play a part. You wanna get into the suburbs, a bit like your garage sales when you do those, that uh, just have a few more dollars in them. So hopefully this uh, this new suburb that we're going into now can uh, produce the goods and give us some good returns. So we'll see you in the second run. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, the second run of the day has not disappointed. Have a look at these, the Ultra Boosts, black and white, pair of women's running shoes, US nine and a half. Unbelievable grab. I've paid just $8. I haven't seen prices like this in the thrift for quite some time, so I'm very happy to pick these ones up. They should go on to sell for about $80. Not the only pair of shoes I found as well. I also found these Sketches. These are the Relaxed Foam uh, Memory Foam. Now, only $4 for these. They, they actually go on to sell quite well. I'm we're pushing about $40 for that pair there. I think that was a US size 10 women's as well. 
uh, found some Vans Authentics. Um, these look just a plain gray. They don't get a massive return on eBay, but every now and again, I do sell them for $40. So I was happy to pick them up for eight bucks. Etnies, a really good shoe brand, um, skateboarding brand, $8 for those, excellent condition. I grabbed them as well. And then this bundle as well, just $1 each for these DVDs and they're all a six disc set. So we've got every single episode of the castle and the comps anywhere between 80 to $100. Jumped into the next op shop and I managed to find these Levi Strauss 505s. These were a 40 waist and a 30 length. Um, only paid the $6 for these. They were a slightly larger size being a 40 waist, but I'm just gonna see how I go with them. N-E-U-W, new. This is a really good brand of jeans. You should be looking out for these. I've only paid the $4. There were comps on eBay anywhere around the $50 to $60 price point. These were the Iggy Skinnies. So I was very happy to find those ones. Uh, also went into another store as well. There were three stores in this little run. And uh, I found a pair of Maddox skateboarding jeans. First time I've found the brand. Not too many comps on eBay, so I'm gonna give this one a bit of a go. We'll see how we go there. The Rivka uh, board shorts, these are a really nice pair as well, just a beige color. Um, paying the $8, so I'm paying a little bit more than normal, but uh, I still think I'll be able to sell them for $25, so I just picked them up. Uh, found the Pullen Bear, um, these are a pair of women's jeans. They're a US uh, size 10. I paid $10 for them, but they were brand new with tags, so I'm happy to do that. Found some Commonwealth Games shorts as well. These are a pair of Bermuda uh, shorts. They're a size 18 in the women's range and they were only $6. So I'm always grabbing those. Some more Ruka. These are just a pair of plain uh, cotton uh, shorts for $5. Again, 25 bucks for those. And then this one was a really good pair of Nike SBs for seven bucks as well. So. There were a lot of clothing items at a fairly decent price in this thrift run that I've been able to pick up, which has rounded out, along with the shoes that I was able to purchase as well in these uh, in these op shops, a really successful finish to the day. Now 11.37 to provide you some context of time. So I've been out for the last two and a half hours. I've gone to five different local op shops and I've been able to get 19 items in total and I've spent $119. So my average um, sort of per unit price is six dollars and 25 cents for everything that you saw in that video so i don't think that's too bad to be honest with you i think there's going to be a lot of profit made how much profit exactly i'm not 100 percent sure but uh, there are a few really good high quality items in there that i'm going to be able to list up this afternoon and hopefully go on to sell but if you're just think if you're watching this video and just thinking about getting into this sort of thing it can literally be exactly that just going out once a week sourcing 20 items over a two hour period, maybe on the weekend if you work a nine to five, Monday to Friday, and then just schedule them out to sell over the course of the next seven days and then go again the following Saturday. It can literally be no more than about five to 10 hours a week to make a couple of hundred dollars a week on eBay. Um, obviously I'll do it full time and I'll put a bit more time into it, make a few more dollars from it, but it can be as simple as five to 10 hours a week. And hopefully that little clip there of being out for just the last two hours proves it. But uh, I'm gonna shoot home now, list all these up and hopefully, we can go on and sell a few. And there you have it guys. I've got 19 items to jump into and list this afternoon. And then I'll need to go and edit this video and get it out to you straight away. It's just the way I like to do things. To the 30% clubbers, that means you. If you're still watching now, you're part of the 30% club that sticks around to the very end. Let me know who you are. Put it in the comments below and say, I am a 30% club member. Uh, I do very much appreciate you. And I'd like to return the favor by saying thanks in the comments below. So go ahead and do that. Uh, but that's everything, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I'll leave you with another video here, how to sell DVDs. If you've got any enjoyment or any motivation out of that DVD sale with the uh, Ramsey's Kitchen Nightmares, then that is the process of how I was able to get that sale. So go check that video out. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.